What's good, YouTube? Working a nine to five fucking sucks. It's slavery. It's fucking slavery. It makes you feel like you don't even want to be there. But for a lot of people, it's ground one. It's the first step, depending on what the fuck you put the money towards. You know what I'm saying? If you're throwing it on some bullshit, on smoking weed, and chilling, and popping perks, and clothes, and fashion, and just blowing your money away, nigga, you ain't never gonna have any to get out of the fucking slavery, bro. It's a trap. It's all a fucking trap that niggas need to open their eyes to. Right now, I work fucking crazy. I work from like 6, 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. Like, I work crazy. But it's because I'm putting that money towards something that get me closer to freedom. I want to be free. I want to live free. I want to go places. But this 9 to 5 shit, and I know a lot of niggas, I know there's niggas out there that's like me that feel the same way, bro. Might as well quit that shit if you just go blow your money on bullshit. And that's my goal. That's, that's what all this is about. Freedom. All I'm saying is lock in, bro. Stop spending your money on bullshit because you're already a slave. You go to the dispensaries, buy some weed. You're slaving for them niggas. Really think about it. You're slaving to get this $500, $600 paycheck that hard earned $600. Half of that money is fading away just because you wanted the illusion of feeling good. An artificial feeling of happiness, my nigga. You dumbass nigga. <laughs> Yeah, y'all niggas lock in, motherfucker. Y'all, y'all motherfuckers lock in, bro. That's all it is, bro. It's just tough love, bro. Niggas don't know that this is literally the most freedom you'll get working a nine to five under your mama's crib, bro. I know niggas be in situations where they gotta pay their dukes to live under the roof and shit, but bro, at least you got a crib, my nigga. Wouldn't that motivate a nigga more to get up out of that situation? Niggas on some lazy shit, bro. Get the fuck up. Bro, get the fuck away from me, you lazy ass nigga, bro. Bro, all that calling in, all that weak ass shit, bro. Thug it out, nigga. Get the money. Get the money and cut, bro. Get the money. Work towards a fucking goal, my nigga. You stop slacking around. Right now, I'm 16 and I'm trying to make moves, bro. I'm trying to make moves with that slavery money. I'm trying to make moves while I still live under my mama's roof. Through the highs and lows, no, one there, no one's there to help you. No one's coming for your rescue. You're alone. You're alone. You think your friends are there, Dave? Please. Your dogs ain't there. Nigga, when shit really hits the fan, when you broke, when you dead broke, that's you, bro. It's all you. You need to take responsibility for that shit like a man. You need to take responsibility. Don't look at the next nigga, bro. Don't rely on no niggas, bro. Cause when shit hits the fan, that nigga's gonna run away. When shit hits the fan, them niggas ain't there, bro. Bro, you gotta make sure that you're good before you start feeding your mans. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure that you can eat so that your mans can eat. You gotta get it on your own before you start feeding others, bro. Nigga, niggas be caught up like, it's a curse to be, to be alone, to be on that grind, to be in that stage of life where you're just focused on you and you're on, on one mission, on one goal, my nigga. It's not fake. You're not being fake to do that shit. You're being true to yourself, bro. Cause you trying to get it. You trying to eat. And when niggas see you got that shit, there's two ways niggas could go. Niggas are either going to get jealous, say this nigga switched. The real niggas are going to start learning from you. You know what I'm saying? And start moving in that, the, that direction that you're moving. And then, those real niggas, y'all motherfuckers make money together, bro. Y'all motherfuckers eat together, bro. You know what I'm saying? A nigga who gets jealous, you leave that nigga behind. He's a curse. He's a curse. He's a hater. We, we don't want those on our team. You know what I'm saying? You can, he, he, he plays for the other team. You know what I'm saying? We, we don't want those. You can stay away from me. You can stay away from me, my nigga. Cause you wasn't on the same shit I'm on. You clearly wasn't on the same shit I'm on. Bye. Bye. I'll leave you the fuck, my nigga. Fuck you, bitch. Stupid ass nigga. Hey, if you made it to the end of the video, I need y'all to go to the description and check out that new song because I just dropped. You know what I'm saying? 
I need y'all to check out my artist channel. You know what I'm saying? That's my main shit. Like, I don't, I'm a rapper. I just want to come here and help you guys. You know what I'm saying? But my main shit is rapping. And I stay true to that. You know what I'm saying? I work hard. I write music. I write all my shit. Sometimes I freestyle my shit too. Fuck it. But I'm telling you niggas, I'm putting you on. I really say some true shit, bro. I really speak on that shit, bro. Because I'd be a fake ass nigga if I didn't, bro. I really be speaking, bro. I need y'all to go check that shit out. You know what I'm saying? All that music. If you feeling alone, if you feeling, if you feeling like no one's on your side, if you feeling like you wanna conquer shit, you wanna go to war, that's my music, bro. That shit's for you. Money coming big, grab a band watch. Yeah, I made it from the gutter, had to stay strong. Too much bodies in my DMs and they want some. And they pull up to my crew, we smoking big balls. Saucing every up, no competition. Every day I'm getting closer to that million. Listen on the gang, get you shot up. All our enemies front and they just act up. When you trying to reach the top, don't get caught lacking. And we get into the guap, no, we not slacking. Cooking up tracks 24-7 I told myself when I get cash, pull up by me